Does Kong get respect in this movie? Yes, yes he does. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's time for that Godzilla X Kong The New Empire review. You know I've been waiting and dying to talk to you guys about this. And uh, I want to go over the good first, then I want to go over the FYIs, then I want to go over the bad. So let's get it started, baby. All right, so the first good thing that I want to talk about is the respect that Kong gets in this movie. I think this is the most respect that I've ever seen on screen, like in a movie for Kong. I guess the second one would be Kong Skull Island, the anime. He gets a lot of respect in that one. He does, he kills monsters on his own with no help etc etc in this movie you get the same vibe except for he is literally by himself and he just gets a lot of respect he he just gets respect i think a lot of kong fans have been kind of waiting for that and they deliver that in this movie and man do they deliver like i had i was like jumping up crying and like being like yo as a kong fan this shit slaps so that's one of the biggest things that i thought was like Fucking top tier, bro. Another good thing is there's lots of monster action in this movie. And I mean like lots. I mean, compared to human stuff, it's mostly monsters. Like, it seems like humans are just featuring in this movie. You're more so just following around Kong and Godzilla and Suko and all that stuff. I really like that. I like the fact that it's more about the monsters. And Kong gets a lot of screen time in this movie. And mainly I would say that Kong is the main character of this new movie. But that does not mean that Godzilla does not get screen time because Godzilla gets screen time and when he gets on screen, man is, is about that action the entire time. He's always doing something that's like constantly uh, furthering the plot and it just shows how much of a badass Godzilla is. Godzilla is a badass. Now I was talking before about how there's not that many human characters or the humans are more of a feature, but the thing is when they do feature them, they're amazing. I actually love the human characters in this movie. I also love the human characters in Godzilla vs. Kong. I felt like they were perfect. And in this movie, it feels the same. It feels like the human characters, every single time they're on screen, they're giving you a reason to be on screen or they're giving you a reason why they're on screen, I guess you could say. Um, and, and it just makes sense. There was a lot of funny moments with the humans too. It, it just felt right. And it, I don't know, I just, I just loved it. Another thing is I got a lot of 80 vibes from this movie. As you guys know from my channel, my intro, on my whole vibe. I'm an 80s dude. I didn't, I wasn't born in the 80s, no. I don't know why I have a weird fascination with the 80s when I wasn't even born in the 80s, but I love 80s. I love 80s aesthetic. I like vaporwave type shit, like retro stuff type thing. This whole movie felt like that. So that's another dub for me. Like shit, I love 80s stuff. Another thing is, if you love Godzilla, this is a Godzilla fan's wet dream. Everything that Godzilla is known for, he's doing in this movie. Is he known for kicking Kaiju's ass? He's doing that in this movie. Is he known for destroying buildings? He's doing that shit in this movie. Mans is just on fire the entire movie and I love it. It's Godzilla being Godzilla and that's what we need to see. All right, so let's talk about the FYI now since I've gone over most of the good, which is literally the entire film. The FYI is that it's, uh, it's not supposed to be a serious movie. Please do not take it super seriously. They show you in the trailers, they show you in the TV spots that this is just supposed to be a fun, little action movie, a buddy cop type movie between Godzilla and Kong. This is not a minus one. I hate it when people compare minus one to any of the MonsterVerse movies that were silly or fun because you're comparing two movies that had two different goals. Minus one had a goal of showing you how terrifying, you know, Godzilla can be, showing the drama, showing love, showing all that type of stuff. Godzilla versus Kong was more of like a, uh, you know, uh, I don't know how to say it, like a, a magical fun type thing where it's just badass. Like it, it's not there to send any other message besides having two big ass monsters fight, which I was there for. So I, I paid to go see Godzilla and Kong fight. I saw that same thing with Godzilla X Kong. I paid to go see Godzilla and Kong beat ass. And that's what I went and saw. Also this time around, the characters have a lot more emotions. Like the Titans, they just show more emotion, especially Kong. Like I feel like we opened up a whole new version of Kong that we've never seen in the Monster Rest before. This is something completely new. Yeah, and I mean, some people would even say some of the parts are a little bit corny. Whatever, I enjoyed it, bruh. I know not everyone's gonna like this movie. I know that, but uh, it depends on what you're going there for. If you're going to see a badass action movie with a lot of fun, nothing to be taken too seriously and some really cool things happen this is your movie and some badass fight scenes too the fight scenes were fucking amazing sorry that's that's back into the good category but yeah the fight the fight scenes were amazing now let's go on into the bad the bad stuff in this movie is completely explainable it's, it's very explainable the first thing is uh the cgi in my opinion was a little wonky at times it had moments where the cgi didn't look too good to me but the reason why i don't really care that the cgi didn't look the best is because what Adam was going for this movie was mostly a monster 
focused movie. Since the monsters are made from CGI, you're gonna have a lot of shots that aren't gonna look the best simply due to the fact that it's expensive. Now, I'm pretty sure most of the money on this movie went to the CGI, if not, you know, the actors or something, but the CGI. It takes a lot of money to do those type of things, and I'm okay with it because it wasn't distracting. Like, the CGI wasn't like, damn, like, I'm kind of out of this movie now. The CGI was just only in some points. You were like, that could have been a little bit better, but at the same time, most of the movie is CGI, so it's okay to get away with a little of this there and a little of that there. As long as you give me what I want during the movie, the CGI is completely um, passable. It's whatever. Another bad thing that I had about the movie was also explainable, and it's the fact that some of the characters don't feel as developed as I wish they would have been. Some of the characters feel like you don't get enough about them. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you get like an exposition about the character, but you don't really get to see much about that character besides, I don't know, like what they can show you in that moment. Uh, I feel like a lot of the Titans were not fleshed out enough and who knows, maybe in the future they will be, but as of right now, I don't see them being fleshed out as much, which I really wish they were. At the same time, I think it comes all down to the CGI being very expensive. They don't have that much time to sit there and have a fucking character sit there and talk and Titan to you and be like, well, this is this and this is that. And you know, the, I, I don't like going to school because my shoes are too squeaky and, and people make fun of my squeaky shoe. Like, it makes sense. And people kept asking me, where would you put this movie in all of the movies of the MonsterVerse? Number one, Godzilla vs. Kong. Number two, Godzilla x Kong The New Empire. Number three, Kong Skull Island. Number four, Godzilla 2014. And the very bottom of the list will be Godzilla King of the Monsters. Like I said before, every single MonsterVerse film is good to me. I love every single MonsterVerse film, uh, but that's just the order that it goes in for me. What would I give this movie out of 10? I'd probably give this movie an 8.5 or even a 9 out of 10. Obviously, uh, it's just a really good time. It's just a really fun, adventurous movie. And I had a great time, but I also feel like the experiences that I had, like going to the Chinese theater, going to see it on IMAX, I feel like a lot of those kind of play into the fact that it was such a good experience for me. So I'm gonna be seeing it again one more time. The review will most likely stay the same if I'm being so real with you, but if anything changes, I will update you guys and I'll post another video on my third watch and tell you guys what I think about that. So I would recommend you guys go see this movie in IMAX because that's the only way to see two big ass monsters fighting. It's gonna be amazing. I had a good time. I got to hang out with my boy Sammy. I got to do everything that I wanted to do. This movie was well worth the investment. So I would, I would watch it if I was you guys. I love you guys. Tell me what you guys think. Comment down below. I would also love to take this time to thank all of my channel members. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. I love you guys. Also, show some love to your boy on Instagram. You know I love when you guys come by and comment. I love you guys. I hope you guys enjoy seeing Godzilla Kong's The New Empire.